A capacitor and a battery might seem similar because they both store energy, but they operate very differently. As long as a battery has chemically stored energy, it can steadily move electrons from one side to the other due to an internal chemical reaction. Its rate of discharge is limited by its internal resistance. If it's discharged too quickly, it can overheat and potentially catch fire. Batteries are great for providing sustained energy over long periods of time in devices like flashlights and smartphones. On the other hand, when we charge a capacitor, electrons are added to one plate and removed from the opposite plate through the internal circuit. This creates an imbalance. This imbalance generates an electric field between the plates storing energy much like compressing a spring stores potential energy. This potential can be measured in volts. When connected to a circuit, the capacitor discharges rapidly, releasing its energy as it tries to equalize the voltage through the circuit. The rate of discharge is limited primarily by the external circuit's resistance. A capacitor has extremely low internal resistance compared to a battery, so it can dump its entire charge almost instantaneously without overheating or damage. Capacitors are used in almost all common circuits. The key difference lies in the energy storage mechanisms. A battery stores energy chemically, while a capacitor stores energy in an electric field.